Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your holy spirit come and take control situations that has troubled my heart. All my cares and bodies unto you are Jesus, 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 into the Spirit, Spirit, Holy Spirit, Spirit, Spirit. Sing to the Father, Father, oh my Father, 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 we sing praises to your name. We worship, we exalt, and we magnify your name because you are the Almighty. You are the everlasting Father. You are the Priest of Peace. You are God yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are God that seated and remains in shaking and glory. Abba, Father, take all the glory now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Over every families, over every lives, every soul, over our children, our husbands, our wives, over the church of God, Daddy, we give you all the glory. We return all praises back to your name, O Lord. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Merciful God. God, we know we have sinned against thee. We pray for mercy. Lord, have mercy upon us. Watch us free from all unrighteousness and create in us the spirit of sin no more. Lay your might and power upon us and deliver us, O God, from the power of flesh. Deliver us, O God, from spiritual ignorance. Deliver us, O God, from the arrows of darkness. Deliver us, O God, from the veil and the cloud of darkness. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I want you to lift up your voice and pray to your Father. The Bible says, Pray without ceasing. Almost every time, every day, every second, every hour, our lives must be connected to the socket of prayers. Say, Oh Lord God, my Father, reignite your fire of prayer in our lives. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God of heaven, reignite your fire of prayer in our lives. Reignite your fire of prayers in our, in our lives, in our homes, in the lives of our children, of our wives, of our husbands. Reignite your fire of prayer in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, enemies of prayer in my life. The Lord destroy you in the name of Jesus. Enemies of prayers in our lives be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, enemies of prayers in our lives be destroyed now. Be destroyed now in the name of Jesus. Whatever hates prayers in our lives be destroyed now in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, powers mocking my prayer life. Holy Ghost. Destroy them with your fire. Any power anywhere mocking our prayer life. Holy Ghost, destroy them, O Lord. Any power, spirit, entities mocking our prayer life. Holy Spirit of God, destroy them in Jesus' name. We are praying. Say, I plead the blood of Jesus upon myself, upon my family, upon this church, upon all the members. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Because we plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself, upon your home, upon your environment, upon your children, upon your husbands, upon your wives, upon every Everything that concerns you, say, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. Upon this church, we plead the blood. Upon all the members, we plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. 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 The blood. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. We plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed by the authority and power in the blood. We conquer Satan. We conquer demons. We conquer principalities. We conquer weakness in places we conquer territorial forces we conquer dark powers we conquer the eaters of flesh the drinkers of blood we conquer the wasters we conquer the destroyers we conquer the entities we conquer them by the power in the name of jesus we conquer them by the power and the blood of jesus every altars from the pit of hell altars raised by evil personalities altars raised by evil priests altars raised by false prophets against our lives we conquer them by the blood of jesus we conquer them we conquer them by the 
blood of Jesus. We conquer them. We conquer Satan. We conquer demons. We conquer principalities. We conquer powers. We conquer evil dreams. We conquer evil arrows. We conquer evil altars. We conquer demonic weapons. We conquer them. Evil reports. Evil marks. We conquer them by the blood of Jesus. Anxiety. Worries. Fear of the unknown. We conquer them by the blood of Jesus. We conquer them by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Father, we thank you because you are God of victory. Thank you, Lord, because of the power and the authority in your name and the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. Father, tonight we are in, in your presence, O God. Let the power in the blood of Jesus flow through every life, every soul here tonight in the name of Jesus. Let every deposit of darkness in our lives, let it be rooted out in the name of Jesus. Let every handwriting of the enemies, O God, be washed away by the blood of Jesus. Let every voice of rejection, voice of failure, voice of stagnancy, let them be silenced forever in the name of Jesus. As we appear in your presence, O God, let all strange forces, all strange power, strangers in high places, let them fade away in the name of Jesus. Let infirmities fade away. Let infirmities fade away. Let sicknesses fade away. Let plagues fade away. Let evil arrows fade away. Fade away. Let demonic deposits fade away in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At the sound of our voice tonight, let signs and wonders manifest. At the sound of our voice tonight, let there be earthquake in the camp of our enemies. At the sound of our voice tonight, let every altar, O oh God, be scattered to pieces in the name of Jesus. At the sound of our voice tonight, let our resi depart. Let our resi part away. Let our resi give way. At the sound of our voice tonight, let the walls of Jericho blocking us. Let them collapse in the name of Jesus. At the sound of our voice tonight, let every rage of darkness. Let every plan of the enemies, let every boasting enemy that has vowed to stop us, that has vowed to reject us, let them be destroyed right now by fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, be a voice for us. Oh, Lord, be a voice for us. Be a voice for the path of the church of God. Let it be a church of solution. Make your church a church of power, a church of prayer, a church for divine exploit, a church of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. When the lame will come to your church, let them be healed. When the blind come, let them be healed. When the sick come, let them be healed. Father, when we pray for the dead, let the dead rise in the name of Jesus. Let your church, oh God, be a church of Christ. Let it be the church of Christ. The church will break barriers and the church will empower souls to reach new heights. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. Lord, my life I surrender before thee. Whatever is in me that will make me not to speak heresy. Oh Lord, forgive me. Have mercy. Purge me and make me not the new vessel in Christ Jesus. Fill me afresh with Holy Ghost. Fire and fire. Use me all the days of my life as your oracle, as your vessel, as your mouthpiece to propagate your gospel. Let your gospel go forth with authority and power and deliver those in bondage of darkness. Let your gospel go forth and release miracles, signs and wonders to every listener here tonight in the name of Jesus. Let your gospel go forth and be a light unto our feet and a lamp unto our path. Let your gospel go forth and deliver those in bondage and captivities of strange powers in the name of Jesus. To you be the glory. We cover this service with the blood of Jesus and with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, I sincerely welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Another beautiful time in the presence of our Lord and personal Savior. My prayer to God Almighty is for God to give us the grace to discover our gift. It's for God to open the eyes of our understanding to know who we are. In Christ Jesus, to the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ, we shall be looking at what the Lord has given us the grace to look into tonight, which is titled, How to Discover Your Gift. How to Discover Your Gift. We are going to be talking about plurals, plural, which is the singular or the plural of gift is gifts. We are not talking about one gift, we are talking about many gifts. The Lord has created you and I and endowed us with gifts. He has given us talent. He has given us things that will benefit us in the land of the living. Your gifts are the key to unlock your greatness. The gifts we are talking about tonight, they are what we announce a life to the whole world. Gift is what is inside of a life that will make that life to be known by the whole world. Gift is what we make a man to be outstanding and bring the man before great men. In Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 16, the Bible says, a man's gift maketh room for him, 
a man's gift make it for you. That means man is created with gift. Man is endowed with gift. Man is an entity loaded with gift and bring it in before great men. So gift will make a man, will make a room for a man. Gift will also bring a man before great men. When the gift is bringing a man before great men, it's not bringing the man before great men just to see it. It's bringing the man before great men to shine in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. May your gift make you to shine. May our gift make us to shine. May our gift make us to shine in the name of Jesus. Joseph discovered his gifts. Joseph, in the Bible, he discovered his gift. The question we should be asking ourselves tonight as sons and daughters of God is this. Have we discovered ourselves? Have we discovered our gift? Have we discovered the deposit of God in our lives? Have we discovered the purpose of God for our lives? Joseph discovered his gift. He never compromised that gift. Joseph made the gift to work. And making his gift to work led him into his greatness. It was his gift that they remembered. It was the gift that made him to appear before Pharaoh. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, our gift shall open great doors for us. Our gift shall usher us into the palace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Genesis chapter 41, Genesis chapter 41, let's read together from verse 25 to 46. Genesis 41, from verse 25 to 46, the Bible says, And Joseph said unto Pharaoh, The dream of Pharaoh is one. God has showed Pharaoh what he is about to do. The seven good kinds are seven years, and the seven good hairs are seven years. The dream is one, and the seven thin and ill favored thing that came up after them are seven years, and the seven empty hairs blasted with the east wind shall be seven years of famine. Praise the Lord. That is things which are spoken unto Pharaoh. What God is about to do is showed unto Pharaoh. Behold, there come seven years of great plenty throughout all the land of Egypt, and there shall arise after them seven years of famine, and all the plenty shall be forgotten in the land of Egypt, and the famine shall consume the land, and the plenty shall not be known in the land by reason of the famine following, for it shall be very grievous. And for that, the dream was doubled unto Pharaoh twice. It is because the things is established by God, and God will shortly bring it to pass. Now therefore let Pharaoh look out a man discreet and wise, and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this, and let him appoint officers over the land, and take up the fifth part of the land of Egypt in the seven plenteous years and let them gather all the full of those good years that come, and lay up corn under the hand of Pharaoh, and let them keep food in the cities, and that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt, that the land perish not through famine. And the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh, and in the eyes of all his servants, and Pharaoh said unto his servant, Can we find such a one as this, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house, and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in thy throne will I be greater than thou. And Pharaoh said unto to Joseph, see, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestals of fine linen and put a gold chain around his neck. And his neck. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had. And they cried before him. Bow the knee, and he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh, and without thee shall no man lift up his hand 
of food in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnath, Fena, and he gave him to wife Asena, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of Horn. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. And Joseph was 30 years old when he stood before Pharaoh, king of Egypt. And Joseph went out before the presence of Pharaoh and went throughout the land of Egypt. May God bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus. I want you to take something home tonight. Joseph rescued the land of Egypt from famine based on on the seven plenteous years, they were storing corn, they were storing food. It tells you and I the power of gift. Gift can preserve a soul. Gift can make ways for a life. Gift can make a life to escape famine, to escape death. Gift will open the eyes of a man into things that ordinary eyes cannot fathom. Gift will to make a man to be outstanding in wisdom, in knowledge, in understanding of issues of life. It was the gift of Joseph that saved the whole land of Egypt. Marika, Ritande Rebo, Rimaka Siki, Rebo Ritandaraba, by the power and the authority in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The gift of God in your life shall save your generation. The gift of God in our lives shall save our families, shall save nations, shall save nations, shall save nations in the mighty name of Jesus. I say the gift of God in our lives shall make nations to be saved from famine, shall save nations from arrows of death, shall save nations from pestilence in the mighty name of Jesus. How to discover your gifts? How to discover our gifts? Number one, we must pray to God for revelation. Because gifts are spiritual deposits. Gifts are what are spiritual deposits. But what we see, they are just the manifestation of the spiritual seed that the Lord has sown in us. So how can we know that we have a seed in us? How can we know the kind of seed that the Lord has planted in us? If a man is not spiritual, if a man is without the inner eyes, there is no way the man will be able to see the spiritual seed that the Lord has sown. So the first step to discover your gift, which is the seed of destiny, the gift is the seed of destiny that the Lord has deposited into the life of every man. So for you and I to discover it, the first step is to pray to the giver, to pray to the sower, which is the almighty God, for divine revelation, to ask him, Lord, what have you sown in my life? What are the gifts that you have deposited in my life? Number two, the gift, how to discover the gift? Number one, you pray. Number two, look for that thing that solves other people's problems that you have. That thing that solves other people's problems that you have, it's your gift. It is that thing that gives you strength and energy without sweat. Something that is always making you to have extra strength and extra energy without you even laboring so hard, it's your gift. It is that, that thing that people are seeing in you and it's making them to bow and to respect you, it's your gift. It is that thing that whenever you are doing it, gives you internal peace and satisfaction plus joy is your gift. It is that thing that gives you unexplainable spiritual energy to do great and mighty things. It's your gift. That thing that is always giving you extra spiritual strength and energy that makes you to do exploit. You go extra mile without even you feeling it. It's your gift. It is that thing that gives you understanding beyond the understanding of men. When people are talking about issues, and by the time you are saying your own, you are talking beyond all of their understanding. It is your gift. Look for those things and start working on them. They are your gifts. It is that unique thing and peculiar things about your personality. What makes you to be who you are? It's your gift. The gift is the seed of your destiny, the destiny seed. What the Lord has deposited in you to make you great. Discover it through prayers and watch out for those things. They are your seed. In the ministry, beloved, and in the secular world, 
But let's narrow it down to the ministry. The Bible made it clear to us that God, he called some to be apostles, some disciples. He called some to be pastors, some to be teachers. In Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12, he gave some to be, to be teachers. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 and 12. And he gave some apostles. He gave them the gift of apostleship. And some prophets, and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. For what? For the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. So God gave gifts to people to operate in unique offices. He gave them gifts to operate as disciples, to operate as pastors, as teachers. As apostles, as evangelists, as prophets, God gave them the seed of destiny to operate in that office. Beloved, it is a must to discover your gifts. It is a must. If you want to live a happy and a fulfilled life, you must discover your gift. You must. Is the most that you and I we must discover our gift if we want to be happy in life. The reason why people are not happy with whatever they are doing is because they are operating in another man's gifts. Failure to discover one's gift will lead to hard work with little results. Failure to discover one's gift will lead to anger and bitterness of heart. Whenever you see someone getting angry and bitter towards other people's achievements, it's as a result of them not discovering their own gifts. Not discovering one's gift will lead to envy and jealousy. It will lead to gossip. It will lead to lack of fulfillment. It will lead to abandonment of projects. It will lead to spiritual weakness, tiredness, and death. To lead to wrong association when people are hanging around with wrong people is as a result of them not knowing their gifts. It leads to frustrated lives, and lastly, to lead to stunted growth or spiritual stagnation. Beloved, don't be ignorant. We should not be ignorant about the enemies that are after gifts. We should not be ignorant of the kingdom of darkness, the powers of darkness, the rulers of this world, what they can do to people's gifts. Gifts can be exchanged. Gifts can be stolen. Gifts can be caged. Gifts can be imprisoned. Gifts can be captured. Gifts can be destroyed. Gifts can be buried. Gifts can be transferred. It can be tied down. The question we should be asking ourselves again tonight is this. Have we discovered our gifts? If you have discovered your gift, the next question is this. Are you functioning in your gift? Two questions. Have you discovered your gift? Second question. Are you functioning well in your gifts? Let's add the third question to it. Is your gift making ways for you? You can be operating in your gift minimally and not get to the full potential of that gift. So have you discovered your gift? Are you working in your gift? And is your gift making ways for you? We need to pray. If all of us can discover our gifts, if all of us are working in our gifts, and if all of us are maximizing the goodness and the benefit of our gifts, the world would be a better place. I want you to pray for your gifts tonight. Maybe you are here. You are here to surrender your life to Christ. A life without Christ is a life in darkness. A life without Christ is a life of crisis. A life without Christ is a confused life. A life without Christ is a life in bondage and in dungeon of darkness. A life without Christ is a life of hopelessness. Do you want your life to shine? Do you want to operate in your gifts? Do you want to be lifted up far, far above your enemies? 
and you want your name to be written in the book of life, then give your life to Christ. Tomorrow may be too late. Tomorrow may be too late. In me, there is peace. In the world, there is tribulation. It is only in God, in Christ, that you can have peace. The joy you are looking for, for the testimonies you are looking for, everything you are looking for, they are in Christ Jesus. Why can't you run to Christ tonight? Maybe you are once with Christ and you have abandoned Christ. Quickly rededicate your life back to Christ so that you can start operating in your peace. Pray this afternoon and say, Lord Jesus, I come before your throne of mercy as a sinner. Forgive me of all my sins. Wash me clean from all unrighteousness. Create in me a new spirit. From today, I accept you into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. Come in today and come in to stay. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. If you have prayed this prayer, then you and I are now qualified to pray for divine revelation for our gift to manifest. Pray that you say, Oh Lord God, my Father, send your fire of revival upon my gift. Oh Lord. Lord God our Father, send your fire of revival upon our gift. Send your fire of revival upon our gift. Oh Lord God Almighty, we pray thee. Send your fire of revival upon our gift. Send your fire of revival. Fire of revival. Fall upon our gift. Fall upon our gift. In Jesus' name, we are praising veil of darkness. Over my gift, be roasted by fire in the name of Jesus. Veil of darkness over our gift, be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire. Veil of darkness over our gift, over the gift of our children, our husbands, our wives, over the gift of every life here tonight. Be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire, be roasted by fire of the Holy Ghost, be roasted by fire of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name, we are praising agenda of the wicked to capture our gift, agenda of the wicked, to cage our gift, agenda of the wicked, to exchange our gift, agenda of the wicked, to terminate our gift, agenda of the wicked, to bury our gift, catch fire in the name of Jesus, catch fire, evil agenda over our gift, I say catch fire in the name of Jesus, be burnt to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost, be burnt to ashes, agenda of the wicked, agenda of the necromancers, agenda of the witches and wizards, Ramas. Agenda of the wicked over our gift. Be roasted by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Be burnt to ashes by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we are praising. Oh God, arise and make our gift to work for us. Oh God Almighty, arise. As God Almighty, make our gift gifts to work for us. Make our gifts to work for us. Make our gifts to work for us. Almighty God, make our gifts to work for us. Make our gifts to work for us. In Jesus' name, we are praising arrows of the wicked, arrows of darkness, arrows of poverty, arrows of shame, arrows from the waters, fired against our gifts. Hear the voice of the Lord. Fail and backfire. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, our buried gift, wherever you are, come out by fire and look at us. Our buried gift, our stolen gift, our caged gift, wherever you are, hear the voice of the Lord. Come out, look at us, 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 come out, look at us. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen, amen, amen. In Jesus' name. Father, I will thank you because you are God that answered the prayers. Unto thee, O Lord, we have called upon your name. Lord, over answer us in the name of Jesus. Father, let our gift, O God, open great and mighty doors for us before great men in the name of Jesus. Let our gift, O God, solve problems of nations in the name of Jesus. Let our gift, O God, rescue humanity from famine in the name of Jesus. Thank you, wonderful Father, for the answered prayers. In Jesus' most beautiful, blessed, and excellent name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. If the message is a blessing unto you, share the good news. Tell the whole world that God is the revealer of mysteries. He is the only one that can reveal to us the seed of destiny. Call our gift that he has deposited in us. 
and to share this good news with God Almighty, bless you, increase you, establish you, and prosper you in the land of living. Learn for more spiritual, inspiration, and most business teachings. For more of these teachings, visit our website at www.thepathofrighteousness.com or visit our Facebook page or YouTube page, The Path of Righteousness. Or join us daily from 10 p.m. till after Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and 11.45 p.m. till 12.15 a.m. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, and Sunday from 1.30 p.m. till 3 p.m. at Monrit Community Center, Mondays Avenues, Mondays, County Kire. As you join us in any of our services, may God Almighty bless you, prosper you, and empower you. This is the path of righteousness, Church of God. The church given to us by God to teach the way of Christ, to empower souls, to break barriers, and to reach new heights. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, anytime you join on this platform, may God himself reveal more of himself to you and I in the name of Jesus. Anytime you join us on this platform, may you be empowered to break barriers. Anytime you join us on this platform, may you be empowered by God to reach new heights in the name of Jesus. We have other publications, books that we empower, we encourage, and we motivate you, and we inspire you for greatness on our website. Feel free to go there and spread the good news. Jesus is Lord, and Jesus is your strength in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let's share our personalized grace. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious, powerful, and awesome. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and keep shining in the Lord. Bye.